Hey guys, it is Kuda Crafter and I am finally doing a video for December. Um, I'm in the process of organizing, cleaning my craft room. That is definitely one of the reasons why I have not been posting any December daily process videos. So I decided that I'm going to do a flip through of my 2017 December daily um, album, which is my very first December daily album that I've done. And then I will be doing a, oh, what do you call it? A craft room tour as well. Cause I always do once a year, a craft room tour video, just so you can see how things change every year. And I'm telling you, it really does. It really changes every year, which is pretty neat. So it's nice to look back on those videos. So anyway, let's get this started. So just so you know, I will not be discussing too much on the pages that I did process videos on. And I believe I do have a December Daily 2017 playlist on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos and you're curious how I do my process videos for December Daily, you can check that out. So... The first page, the title page, I had done a process video, the front and back. Day one is all about my typewriter. And just so you know, like I said, if this is your first time, last year I did a December daily challenge um, thing with popsicle sticks. And I have a list of whether it's tools or embellishments and each number corresponds with a certain tool etc and one it's a great challenge to do for me at least and two it lets me utilize everything that I have and um, so I don't leave anything out when it comes to the stuff that I have or I brought out just for December daily so like I said, day one is all about my typewriter and exactly on December 1st, my typewriter, I forgot what type a typewriter it is, but I think it's from the 70s. If um, I think my aunt told me it's from the 70s. But um, yeah, I bought it from Goodwill and online actually. And it lasted maybe two years, I think, or maybe a year, at least a year. And the thing, there's two reasons what happened is the belt, which is a big thing, broke. And then I do have a sticky key, which is my G every freaking time. And um, I decided that either I get a new typewriter from We Are Memory Keepers or I fix it sometime later, which I have not done. And I'm leaning towards more of buying a new one. <laughs> So, um, I don't really like the first page, so I took pictures of the issues of my typewriter, but I do like the back page here. So I really like the balance of reds, black, and white with a little bit of gray in here. And I did use one of my Simple Stories chipboard frames, which fit perfectly for this little photo here of a close-up of my sticky key issue. And, um... I utilize my Citrus Twist stamp, and yeah, definitely one of my favorite pages. And then day two, I've done a process video on as well, which is a list of things I wanted for Christmas. And then the front page, or this page here, is my top three, which, so you guys are curious, I did not get any of those <laughs> at all. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I did a process video on that page. Day three is all about our Christmas tree. We don't use a traditional big Christmas tree, whether real or fake. We stick with a very small one, which is like maybe a foot tall. And it just sits on top of uh, one of the tables in the living room. And um, we just put gifts underneath that table and also the stockings. So I do have a photo of that, which I will add for December Daily this year. So 
um, you'll see overall how well our Christmas tree this year is a lot different it's a little bit cuter but um yeah definitely just it's just more convenient for us because we don't have a lot of space in that uh, living room anymore so I'm not really fond of this page it, it was quite a challenge but um on to day four which is all about decorating so i did take one photo here of the inside of our house with the snowflake lights and this was also a bit of a challenge and when i look at this card now i think i overdid it <laughs> it looks a little too much but um, at least I got to utilize a lot of the stuff that I have, like this little laced ribbon, because I, I, I try to use the ribbons that I have, because ribbons are just one of those things that are hard to use, because you can't, it's not a very flexible um, material, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so day five, I already did a process video, which is all about coffee. This year, I will probably do hot cocoa or tea. I'm probably going to be leaning over, I'll probably do hot cocoa, yeah. Anyways, day six, did a process video on this as well, which is all about staying creative during December. And this is definitely one of my favorite process videos and pages that I've done. So that's the front part, and then there is a back part, which the first time, I've always done it. I mean, I've always wanted to do it for a very long time because I grew up watching Bob Ross on TV, like coming home from school. Um, so I did a paint along, I guess, if <laughs> lack of a better word. Um, so I do like my little clouds here. But yeah, I do talk about that in the process video. So day seven is all about shopping, whether it's Christmas decorations or last minute gifts. But this is mostly um, Christmas decorations. We were buying wrappers, anything else to decorate our house. So we did go to Lowe's and Dollar Tree. So the first page is Lowe's. And I took a picture of this really little cute um, Christmas tree that they had that you can just um, put a pin on the wall and you can just put your Christmas gifts underneath if you you know, have a limited, limited amount of space in your house. And uh, my mother is thinking of making one, like, because sewing is her hobby. So um, I don't think we're going to do it this year, but hopefully sometime in the future she'll make one. Because that's, I think it's pretty cute. And then the bottom part is wrapping papers. I really did like their glittered gold and silver wrapping paper, but I didn't get it. But I did buy one paper that you'll see later on. And, um, yeah, we need to buy more wrapping paper this year again. <laughs> so the back part is Dollar Tree. So I was, last year I was very impressed with their paper crafting section. And I did like their dimensional stickers, which I didn't get, unfortunately. Now I regret it when I look at these photos. But, um, and also their washi tapes are okay. They're cute, but not washi tapes I prob I probably wouldn't really use those maybe in my planner but not really in paper crafting so day eight is all about wrapping paper and I added my favorite wrapping paper here with these hot cocos and unfortunately I am running out and I remember I bought this from Target either 2015 or 2016 and I I love this wrapping paper so much. I would use it every year. I mean, I it, it kind of looks like coffee, but it's mostly hot cocoa. But you can see it either or. I mean, it really depends how you look at it. And I also this is the wrapping paper I was talking about that I bought from Lowe's last year, which is also almost gone as well. Um, not really. I mean, it's an okay wrapping paper for it has like different colored snowflakes. But the thing I like about this challenge was I had to use washi tape, hand stitching, and tissue paper. So for a close up here, the thing I like about this is that I outlined my washi tape and then I 
put the washi tape on top of the tissue paper which I folded and it really gives it texture and layers and I really love it. It looks simple but yet it, it just it really catches your eye because it I just really like the texture in this card so it's definitely one of my favorite cards in this whole album. So one of my favorite pages like I said I have two brothers born in December 9 and 14 so December 9 is all about my eldest brother he turned 38 last year. He just turned 39, not too long ago this year. And what I really love this page is that it's fun. Um, it does look like it's a little over embellished, but it it just works. It, it really looks nice and it works. And I was really happy that in my Pink Fresh Studio ephemera pack, there was a pink one with balloons, which just worked out so well. And... I posted, uh, or I wouldn't say posted, I pasted a photo of my brother on this 4x6 card. And what I really love about this 4x6 card is not only the twine that I added, but also I used the Prima stamp with the gears, and I uh, stamped it in three different areas. And I just like the different layers of washi tape that I added, and then more hand stitching. This is, oh, I just, I really love this page. And I hope I do another great page on his birthday for this year. So day 10 is all about my favorite Christmas song. I did use the Tim Holtz page protectors for his page pocket or his pocket cards, which are a little bit weird when it comes to the sizes, but it's really cute to use in December daily and it really gives it a different, um, cause you know, when you flip pages, Sometimes it gets boring to see the same size page protector and all that. So it's a nice change when you get to a different day. It's like, oh, it's a smaller page and it's cute. But the thing I didn't like about this day was I the acetate here. I just did not like how I did this. I added washi tape. I used my alpha stamp, which was one of the challenges. I had to cut the letters out, which was a pain in the butt. And... Um, my favorite song for Christmas is Carol the Bells. I really love that song. But like I said, I did not like how I did this, but I left it alone. And um, I don't really like the back part of this small pocket either, but it is what it is. <laughs> so day 11 is all about the songs that I discovered and loved in December. So I did find, I ever since I was probably in middle school, I listened to J-pop and um, I listened to K-pop like towards the end of high school or beginning of college. But at the time when I was younger, before high school, I was really into J-pop and I love Yutada Hikaru. She is one of my favorite Japanese singers and I really love this song. In English, it's called Two Hour Vacation and she does a du duet with Shiina. I forgot what her last name is or family name. But um, I really like how I decorated this card using my Prima background stamp. And the second song of that month was a um, P-pop song or Filipino song from Regine Velasquez. And she's one of my favorite Filipino singers because I am half Filipino. So ever since middle school as well, I've listened to Filipino songs to improve Um speaking my mother's tongue but mostly she speaks Bisaya she's she's a Bisaya speaker but Tagalog is the main language in the Philippines so um one of the best ways for me learning Tagalog was listening to Filipino music so this song is called Tadhana which means destiny and it's definitely definitely one of my favorite favorite songs from Regine Velasquez I definitely recommend you listening to this song. It's a really, really good, good song. So day 12 is all about um, TV series that I watched that month or drama. So I, like I said, I love Japanese culture. I love J-pop music. I love Japanese drama. So I watch My Little Lover on Netflix. Um, it was an okay drama, not really my thing. Um, but... I do like this top part here, how I decorated it. The pink, it was hard to decorate this because the pink is definitely not in my December daily colors. 
So I had to add elements like the blue and the green just to make it look like it's part of the whole December daily colors. And um, I don't really like how I did my four by six card here, but let, let's move on to day 13, which I did a process video as well. And this is all about Hina, which is our bearded dragon. And I did a two page layout of her. So day 14, like I said, is my other brother. He was born on uh, December 14. He turned 30 last year, and today is December 14. So today's his birthday, and uh, he turned 31. So Hina is actually his pet. And um, I kind of like the top part here. I, I, actually, I would say I really like the top part here. But I, I feel like this card here kind of throws it off. I don't know if it's because the color, well, actually, the color of the cupcakes still go with the whole December Daily colors. But I don't know. I feel like something something is off about this card. I don't know what it is. But overall, it's an okay page. I hope this year I will do a better page for my brother this year. So day 15 is all about Star Wars because it was the big thing last year with The Last Jedi and so forth. I was going to save these cosmic shells for my nephew. He does love um, Star Wars, but he did not come for Christmas. And now that I think of it, I should have mailed it to him. But too late. <laughs> I added it in my December daily because I didn't want to waste them. I didn't want to throw them out or whatever. So, um, yeah, each card has their own cosmic shell. I didn't really um, journal much or um, decorate too much because these are a little big. But um, I also use another Tim Holtz page protector here with the smaller cards, and these cosmic shells fit perfectly. So there's a lot more on the back as well. And I also added... Um, a scrap paper for the side of the page so it gives it a little bit more interest as well day 16 is all about movies and i watched quite a few movies that month um these are definitely my two favorite movies wind river and some freaks i believe netflix still has some freaks on their um website and then I do have movie, but excuse me, more movies on the back. This is probably the worst one. My father picked this one out. It was really bad. I do love action movies. I love martial arts, but I'm sorry. This one, sorry, Scott Atkins, but this, this was not a good movie. <laughs> but I do love Medea and I do love Despicable Me. So I was really happy that I got to see these two movies last year. Day 17 is all about Punch Needle or yeah, punch needle art, which I didn't do as of yet, but I did buy the kit, so I do want to try that out. Um, I don't know when, and I don't know if I'm going to do it for December Daily, but we'll see. And then day 18, I also love. It's one of my favorite pages. So I received a Christmas card from one of my good friends in the Philippines. If you don't know, I went to med school there for one year. So I have a lot of great Filipino friends over there. And one of my best friends sent me a Christmas card in 2016. And I didn't have the chance to add it in my De in my Project Live for December. But I decided to add it um, for 2017. And um, I really like how I did this layout. I like the balance of the red, the gray, and the white. A little bit of green. And I did... I did have a stamp set from Mommy Lay that has Tagalog words, so mahal kita means I love you. So it was nice to use that stamp set because I don't get to use that a lot. But I definitely love this 4x6 card with a little bit of the screen. Crap, now I forgot what it was called. I forgot what the name is, but it's one of those screens where you... um. Put the paint on top and then you swish it across to the other side and then when you take off the screen it gives it this really nice impression so i had this screen that says i love you love you love you so i really love that and this is a picture in 20 
14, we had a December party or Christmas, early Christmas party or whatever you want to call it. So that's Emery right there. She's the one that sent me the card. And then there's Tanya, me, and then Karen. So we were, I really miss those. I really miss them. So I added another Tim Holtz um, page protector here. And I cut out the front part of the card. And I really, really love the design of this card. And then the back part is the um, message she sent me, which I should have covered as well. But she also sent me a little friendship bracelet, which um, I I didn't want to wear because I knew someday it was going to come off and get ruined. So I kept it in the packet and just added it into my project life as a memorabilia. So day 19 is all about crocheting, which I don't think I did a process video on. So I... Last year I made crochet gifts and I really love this card here. It, this is definitely one of my favorite four by six cards in this whole album. And what I like is, like I said again, the different layers and textures. So I added one of the challenges was tissue paper again. So I wanted to do a different technique where I scrunched up the middle part of the tissue paper and then I flattened it out and it gave this really nice design I guess lack of a better word that makes it look like like it's a oh, I don't know how to describe it but you know when you unwrap a gift and there's tissue paper and it's like tissue paper around the gift never mind I'm terrible at describing anyways but uh, I hope you can understand what I was trying to say but you can see here um I crocheted a coffee um what do you call it dishcloth and I really like how this just all came together. And then the back part, I made some Star Wars um, crochet dolls for my brother. He also loves Star Wars. And I should have made some for my nephew, but I don't think he would have uh, appreciated it as much as my brother. But um, yeah, and then day 20... It's all about the weather. Um, it's an okay page. I do like the balance of the blues and gold and black. And then day 21 is a book that I read during that month, which was the third book of the Star Trek Voyager. I am a total Trekkie, if you don't know. So I've seen every episode, including the animated series and the... Discovery first season, which I'm still waiting for second season, which is coming out next year. So I decided that I'm going to start reading the books because there's so many of them and it just gets me excited. But I have to say this book was hard to read because it was just, it's just one of those books you just, it was bad, except the ending. The ending was pretty good, but other than that, it was just hard to get through. So day 22 is all about my iPod, which I finally found after gosh it was 2015 when i came back after two years guys i really thought i lost this ipod and my father bought this ipod for me when i was in college because when i like when i walk to classes i like to listen to music i mean who doesn't and I really thought I left it in California because I was when I came back from the Philippines I was in California for two weeks and that was the last time I remembered having it. So I was really worried that I lost it in California or I left it in California. But I found it and it was in my book bag, which was what I was traveling with at the time, the whole freaking time. I don't understand that because I really thought I looked in my book bag like four times. <laughs> Two years later, it's, it's weird. But um, yeah, so 22 is all by itself in this little... Um, I did a two page layout. So the first page is the photo and then the second page here is the writing, how I was so excited about finding it and so forth. But I, I do like this card that I did. I like the gold and the mint. Ugh. Anyways, day 23, it's all about gifts. And um, it's an okay page. I do like the balance of the colors in this one as well. And then 
day 24, I did a process video on this as well, which is all about Christmas Eve. And then day 25 is all about the gifts, which I did a process video as well. And this is a two page process video. And the back part of course is my favorite because it all it's all about Starbucks. So day 26 is all about the gifts that, well, I want to say plural, but um, wait, let me see the back part. Oh, that's a different day. Okay. So day 26 is a gift that my aunt, now this is the funny story. My brother plays Magic the Gathering or MTG. I mean, some of you might know what that is. Some of you don't, but if you don't, that's okay. It's a card game that 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 became really popular in the 90s and um, my brother still plays it till this day so my aunt asked him what he wanted for christmas and my brother told her oh i'm fine with magic the gathering cards or mtg so she mistook magic the gathering for magic magic <laughs> which is pretty funny so she got him this bengali magic card deck and we, tr you know, we had to hide our faces and, you know, try not to say anything to her because um, we didn't want to make her feel bad. So, um, yeah, we thought that was really funny. We tried it and it's a really neat magic trick now that we know how they do it. But, um, yeah, I had to document that, that, that. That was probably one of the funniest things that happened last Christmas. And then 27 is all about, um, because my, my brothers know that I'm a Trekkie, so I was not expecting, I mean, this was a late Christmas gift. It arrived after Christmas. So my brother got me a Star Trek panic game and I was really excited and I was like, yeah, because I always wanted to play it. And, um, yeah, I, I, it's it's one of those fun cooperative games. You guys have to try at least once, and I I love it. And um, yeah, that was one of the best gifts I got last year. And then twenty eight is all about looking back on um, how much I've changed, whether it's personality wise, morals, um. The way I look physically, I, mean, I so many things because there's so many things that you can change about yourself in a year, but um, also about how incredible. Um, I mean, this is an old photo of me. I I, I forgot to take a recent or a photo for last year because I usually take a photo beginning of the year and in the end of the year. So um, I decided to just put an old photo of me from college. And it's not a very good um, quality photo. I got it from um, Snapfish. Or it was either from CBS because they don't really have good quality <laughs> um, photos or editing, I should say. So day 29 is all about my favorite memory of 2017, which was my brother and my nephew visiting us in May last year. And it, it was a very long, I mean, it, I think it was like five years since I last saw them. And I was, because during that time I was in college, I was in the Philippines. So it was, it was so nice to see my nephew. He was like 12, I think. And now he's 13 this year. It's incredible how fast he grows. And um, I don't really like this four by six card here. Um but uh, it was a difficult challenge because most I had a lot of I have two photos, so it was hard to incorporate those five challenges in this um, day. So day 30, I used another Tim Holtz page here. And it's all about tradition. So my mother always buys me and my brother's um, what do you call it? Lotto tickets. To see if we win the big jackpot, which so far <laughs> never did. So I added the Powerball tickets on the back. And um, it's one of my favorite cute pages as well. So day 31 is all about goals of 2018. 
And I really do like um, the embellishments that I added, especially this tag from We Are Memory Keepers. I forgot what their collection was called. It had something chic in it, but there was like the Empire State Building because, you know, the ball drops in New York. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So I added this epoxy sticker too, that says "Big City Lover," and of course I covered my goals. I don't want you guys to know, <laughs> but of course that was last year, so I don't think it really matters. And I do need to look back on that to see if if I fulfilled any of those goals. But um, yeah, I definitely do like this page. And if you're curious, this card is from Pit Sticks. Um, I don't know if they still add these type of cards in their envelopes, but it's a card that keeps the stickers sturdy when they mail it so it doesn't bend or anything. And each side has a design on it. So this design here had like, it kind of reminded me of fireworks. So that's why I use this card. And then on the back part, it has like a quote and it says, be a fruit loop in this world of Cheerios. So that is pretty much it for my December Daily 2017 album. I hope you guys liked this flip through. And uh, hopefully sometime next week or maybe tomorrow I can do my first December Daily Process video. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of those. Especially since I have to catch up. Because I haven't done a single page yet guys. So anyways I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.